So, you guys want me to talk about my artwork? It used to be to make money. Nowadays, it's kind of different. It's like angels involved nowadays. You should be afraid of what people thought. And been doing a lot of studying. Thinking, studying, surfing. And then you come to certain conclusions that sometimes what people think don't really matter. It's what you find in your heart that comes naturally or from a higher source. It's a tradition that when a surfer passes, there's a memorial paddle out. And that paddle out is a celebration of his life. People come together, friends, family, and all that energy is one. Today was a special day because Clark's ashes were there and as everybody circled around me, I was able to say a few awesome words about my friend and my brother. He was a comedian, very brilliant, mischievous, very humble and um, he was a free spirit, you know good artist and um, always stoked on everything, always stoked on life and he was kind of like buttons, really nice to everybody. Yeah, that was Clarky. I've seen a lot of artists, I've never seen anyone with such exceptional talent with a paintbrush and we, you know, we used to joke around here up at the plant and I have no artistic talent at all with a paintbrush or, or a pencil but I used to joke to him and I'd say I don't know how you do it and he would giggle and he'd say I don't know either <laughs> and that was just him he just did it with without effort well, me and Clark got to experience a lot of waves together we got to surf all the time and one of our favorite spots was the spot that we uh, we did the paddle out and there's also a rock called Alligator Rock, and that was where Deborah's ashes were spread a few years back. We had a, a beautiful time together out there, just just smiling, and Clark's energy was released back into the world. He's part of the world again, and he's up there with Deborah now. And we were able to uh, experience that together, splash some water, throw some flowers. It's just unbelievable. I think Clark could be stoked about today. I think he loved that spot. I mean, Deb used to go there all the time. And there's just great energy, good people. His family was there. I saw his brother Brad smile today, and I thought I saw Clark again. So yeah, that's kind of how it passes on. And uh, I don't think we have to worry about Clark being forgotten. He's very loved, and uh, it was really good to see that today. You get to a certain point. Sometimes you have the best days, sometimes you get like a really hard. But you think about the ones you love, and they carry you through. Make your picture a lot brighter and happier.